Hi, welcome to another video by a1techstore.com. Today we're going to show how to program a Rebel SIM card using the Rebel programmer with the professional SIM adapter and a dummy SIM adapter. So here's the actual Rebel programmer. See, it's a full-size programmer which has a USB lead attached to it as well. This is the new item which we're promoting at the moment which is basically a SIM adapter. It allows you to put a smaller SIM card into the actual professional programmer without having to use tape or use another SIM card with it. So it makes the whole process a lot easier. The other thing we supply with a professional SIM adapter is a dummy SIM adapter to hold the Rebel card in place. So let's start by putting the Rebel card into the professional SIM adapter. So all we need to do is open the SIM gate and put the dummy SIM adapter in first. Not all the way in, just like halfway in. And then put a Rebel SIM card in. Here's a Rebel SIM card here. It's original card, all the markings and logos as well. Bear in mind the Rebel is the only SIM card in the world which allows you to update the firmware. No other manufacturer will allow you to update the firmware on their cards with their solutions basically when they release a new card you have to buy a new card. With Rebel we supply the firmware to all our customers free of charge when it's downloadable from our website a1techstore.com and also downloadable from rebelsimcard.com okay so there's the Rebel SIM card and the dummy SIM adapter in now we just need to close the SIM gate so it's closed Now we need to put the professional SIM adapter into the programmer and then plug the programmer in onto a USB port onto your computer. The drivers are also available via our website and via rebelsimcard.com as well. When you plug it in you see there's a green light which is on which shows that the program is connected to your PC. And now on the actual computer what we need to do is fire up the Rebel configuration software. So here's the configuration software here. On the configuration software you need to first of all get the card into boot mode. To do this all you do is click on the drop down menu, select the SIM card reader and <clears throat> it basically gets the card into boot mode. Let's zoom in a bit. So you see now it says card in boot mode. Now you're ready to write firmware to the actual card. So let's open up a firmware here. Once you've opened up the firmware it says file loaded. Now all we need to do is click on write firmware and presets. And it's actually writing the card data. There is a progress bar at the bottom as well, which shows the progress. So see the process is pretty quick. We're nearly done. And that's it, done. As you see now, underneath the card data, it says done as well. So there you have it. Your Rebel SIM card has now got a new firmware on there. Please visit our website a1techstore.com and also please visit rebelsimcard.com the only solution currently at the moment for iPhone 3G 2.2 firmware with the 2.28 baseband. Thank you. Bye bye.